How great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When Christ shall come with shout of acclamation and take me home. What joy shall fill my heart? Then I shall bow in humble adoration. And then proclaim, my God, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art. How Through the woods and forest glades I wander and hear the birds sing sweetly in the trees. When I look down from lofty mountain grandeur and see the brook and feel the gentle breeze. And you know, when I sing that verse, I think how lovely it is to be in New Zealand. New Zealand is a really lovely place. I've been through the woods and I've heard the bird, the tui, that was the first bird that we heard when we came to New Zealand. And we've heard the birds singing sweetly in the trees. And we went up to Mount Manganui yesterday and looked down and we saw the grandeur all around us. We saw the brook, we saw the sea, and we felt the gentle breeze. This is a wonderful sing song. Then sings my soul, my God, how great. You are, and he is truly great to us. Thank you once again for singing with me. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, my dear. Sorry about the interruption for the call. But yes, he's great. He's a good God and he's always faithful. Um, we're going to have a sermon now by Pastor Howard. So he's going to come forward and share with us the words of the Lord. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. It is truly great to be here with you this morning and just to spend time with you. It was wonderful just looking around and, and seeing everybody singing along with Marvet, how great thou art. And uh, I was going to start with a, with a joke which follows up quite nicely after the song. And it's really about a man who doesn't, doesn't believe so he doesn't believe in God, but he's walking through the woods. And as he's walking through the woods, he sees the birds flying that God didn't make. He sees the river meandering through the woods that God didn't make. He sees the butterflies moving about that God didn't make. He sees 
the sun in the sky that God didn't make. He sees all the trees and the wind he feels blowing that God didn't make. And then at the corner of his eye, he sees a rustle of the bushes. And then he sees a great big bear that God didn't make. And he starts running. And as he's running, he falls over and he lands on his back and he starts shuffling backwards as fast as he could. And the bear pins him down with his paw and everything stops. The river stops moving, the birds stop whistling, the butterflies stop flying, the trees stop rustling, there's no breeze. And he's there and he looks up into the sky and he says, God, I know I don't believe, but can you just do me this one favour? Can you turn this bear into a Christian? <laughs> so, the, the river starts to move, the birds start to fly, the butterflies start to butterfly, <laughs> and the bear picks up his other paw and goes, for what I'm about to receive, O Lord, make me feel <laughs> So, that was me kind of introducing myself. I, I do like a little laugh and a joke. Uh, but uh, I was thinking, and I was talking to Eva earlier, and she said something, which I had really written down, but I would not said it the way she'd said it. And it goes, it's a little saying that goes like this. The young don't know what it is to be old and wise. But the old know what it is to be young and foolish. So with that said, I think about all the wisdom that is in this room. All the lives that have been lived and all the experiences that we've had. Because I'm young, but I'm not that young. <laughs> I'm, I'm young enough to have four children and four grandchildren. So I've, I've got a bit of timing, as they say. But when you put together our combined ages, and combined knowledge and combined wisdom, we can all say that there is a God. And He has taken care of us. He has never let us down. There's a song that goes, I don't know why. Jesus loves me I don't know why He cares I don't know why He sacrificed His life Over and glad So glad He His mighty throne in glory to bring to us redemption story. He died and rose again just for you and I. Oh, and I'm glad, so glad he I don't know 
in the tomb and then he was raised from the dead he was seen by his disciples he spoke to them he had fish and bread he cooked for them they felt his flesh and put their fingers in his wounds and they recognized that he had risen can you imagine Alive. Jesus is alive. And we're told that he was with his disciples and they watched him go in to the clouds. And the angel said, Why do you gaze into the sky? This Jesus who was taken to you in this manner will come back the same way. And so we know that every eye one day will see Jesus when he makes his return. Now, it's wonderful to know that. And it's wonderful to be able to share that with people. But I'm sat here today, and I, or stood here today, a story keeps coming back to me, and I say I cannot avoid it. And it's about Jesus healing people. And he's in the house, and four men bring along their friend, and they can't get through the crowd. And so they go up on the roof, and they open the roof, they tear, tear it apart, they take the roof off, and they lower their friend down so that he has the opportunity to meet Jesus. Can you imagine having friends like that that would haul you through the village, 
find a way to get up on the roof with you, take the roof off and lower you down so that Jesus could spend time with you. And that's what we're doing today. We're gathered together, worshipping, praising, because we're lifting the roof off because we know that Jesus is here. Amen. There's a there's a song I love to sing. I can't sing very well, but I love to sing. <laughs> Sometimes it's, it sounds like a, a frog singing. <laughs> It's a bit, a bit, a bit croaky. <laughs> Good one, Naomi. Yeah, I mean. But uh, it goes like this. When I think about what Jesus has done for me, I can only give him praise. And the words are very simple. I'm going to ask if you know it to sing it with me. And when you get it, you can sing along with me. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. closing song. My hallelujah belongs to Say 
belongs to hours you have been there with us and for us we pray father that even as we have worshipped you today that it would have risen unto you father as a, a sweet smelling savor that it would have been father god as sweet music in your ear that it will be acceptable unto you father i pray father for all the residents in this place. Father, I, I do them not, but you know them by name and by nature. You have named every hair on their head. You knew each of them even before they were formed in their mother's womb. And you have taken care of them with food and sustenance, with oxygen, with light and heat. We pray, Father, that you'll just continue to be with them, lead them, direct them, protect them from harm and danger, comfort them, Father, and give them peace. Bless them as only you can bless them. I pray, Father God, that you'll give them the things that they need and desire Help them to continue to seek your face and to worship you in spirit and in truth. Ask these mercies, Father God, for all those who believe. And for those who do not believe, Father, I pray that you will open up their understanding so that they too may be able to share in the blessings that you bestow upon your people. I ask these mercies, Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. 